My name is Cheryl Postuma, and in 1998, I was diagnosed with a prolactin pituitary tumor, which I no longer have. Mm -hmm. Thank you to ProTandem. Right. I was in a head-on car collision going 55 miles an hour and this guy decided to cut across the highway and then he stopped when he saw me and, and I plowed right into him. Well, um, then I started to have migraines, full-blown aura, lose your eyesight, nausea, the whole thing, migraines. In the last 12 years, they've gotten progressively, <laughs> I like 30, um, they've gotten progressively worse. I, they've been three to five a week that I've had. And in between those migraines, I have a headache. There is never a time when I don't have something going on with my head. Like to just to shake your head is just never unheard. I would never do that. You know, I've tried chiropractic, lots of different chiropractors, tons and tons. Holistic um, drugs, uh, light therapy, oxygen therapy, water therapy, sleep therapy, antidepressants, um, anti-seizure medication, the whole gamut you name it i you know acupuncture patches stuff you rub on your head botox. yeah bot i did a botox study for a year and a half and let them shoot botox all over my body and play i mean you couldn't see the non-wrinkles because it was in places where you couldn't see um nothing ever helped well we, well, we got um protanum at the middle of um december and i started on the product and well two and a half weeks later i stopped having headaches and I stopped having migraines. I have not had a headache or a migraine since January 2nd. Jason. What does that mean to you watching this? You don't have to be exercising. Um, it, it, oxidative stress can, is actually related to a lot more serious diseases, diabetes, uh, cardiovascular health, mm, Parkinson's, so the, heavy, the heavier things as well. So obviously, you know, health is a holistic thing. The food we eat, the lifestyles we do, uh, have all great influences on it. And, um, so you can look at it from many angles. I'm looking at it from an exercise perspective. So I just wanted to put that, this video out there and um, say, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. And I'm very interested to see what happens because I think um, if it works, it, it could be a really cool thing. And uh, it's something that I would wanna look at more in the long term. Now, the experiment to do is, is this uh, natural supplement is called ProTandem. Uh, I have no financial gain whatsoever from it. It's just pu purely out of curiosity. So what I've done is I've agreed with Daniel. Daniel is the actual uh, distributor of Prodahandam in Australia. Um, is that I've gone and had blood tests to look at where my oxidative stress levels are at, along with a few other tests which are in the blog. And then I'm going to take one Prodahandam a day for three months and just carry on 
like I am. I eat uh, pretty cleanly. I train um, pretty hard four to five times a week, you know, and I'm not going to change my lifestyle at all. But then after the three months, I'm going to retest uh, the situation and see if this actually works or not. Um, so the, the ones that are look, that look like a target, yep. so they're annulocytes and they, that means the hemoglobin is oxidized inside. So this is oxidative stress that you can see. So with these the are oxidative yeah. stress yeah. and yeah. the, the, the yeah. non-ones are healthy? That's right. And this, this, the majority of the cells are annulocytes, so it's a lot of oxidative stress on the uh, hemoglobin. So uh, the oxidative stress, what could that have come from? That's coming from the heavy metals, I'm sure. The from the heavy metals we picked up the earlier. That are coming yeah. into the blood. And the liver is working very hard to detoxify, but maybe not enough nutrients. Okay, excellent. That's it? That's it. So that's important. Yeah, it should spread nicely like that. So this. Because you could damage the blood yeah. otherwise. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay, so. So that goes under the microscope. So now we could go on to the higher magnification. Ah, uh, that's the stuff we want. Yeah, there's still a few repairing cells. So which of them, if you could point at the repairing cells? Uh, this one, this is called an annulocyte. The yeah. hemoglobin is slightly oxidized. It's repairing, not so solid. Actually, 13 years ago, when I was diagnosed with a condition called subglottal stenosis, which interpreted means scarring of the trachea, I went into emergency surgery up in Salt Lake City, and they dilated my airway, and then I was told it would probably grow back. Sure enough, three years later, in the year 2000, it did. I did a laser treatment, and then a little bit later, within a few weeks, it grew back. They did it again. And then again, and then again, and then again. And then in December, on December 7th, I ended up in the emergency room. And after the surgeries, um, I, actually the surgery that was performed, I went into respiratory failure. And due to that, I ended up with a, with a tracheotomy and a regular stainless steel trach. I then had multiple surgeries, and they were not able to prevent the scar tissue from growing. And so then they did a rib graft, and they took part of my rib out and put that in my airway. That didn't work. And then I went to UCLA, and they took all the membranes of my cheeks, and they sliced them from here to here and from here to here on both sides, and they put them in my airway. That didn't work. Now I've had scar tissue grow back within three to five days. And after four months, it didn't. And so, on August 23rd of this year, my airway was sewn up. This is a pretty big deal to me, because for the first time in 10 years, I went swimming and was able to take a shower without gurgling. During this process of these past nine years, I had a year when I couldn't speak. The fact that I'm able to speak today and speak with intonation and um, emotion is due to the blessing that I've been given and I am grateful to be a part of ProTanda. Um, I was in the military 15 years ago and I was diagnosed with brain cancer and I had uh, two oh grade God. three uh, brain tumors, astrocytomas. Um, and at the time I was taking 23 supplements a day. Um, I had surgery, I had radiation, I came out five years, I had a special scan done. Uh, the rest of the tumor that could be removed at surgery turned into scar tissue. So um, that was a very good day for me, the chemo and the radiation works. About four and a half years ago now, um, I had my uh, yearly checkup scan done, um, and it showed that um, I had a recurrence. And uh, it was a tumor growth, and it was the same area that they were in before. So uh, my type of uh, tumor is an astrocytoma. It's generally slow growing. I could have jumped 
straight back into some sort of therapy, but we chose not to do that. We were, we're gonna wait about six months to do my next checkup scan and um, see where it was, if it was growing, if it wasn't growing. Uh, about two months after that happened, I found out about her tandem for a very, from a very dear friend of mine. So um, I saw that video at the time we had one cancer study done that blew me away. And um, for me, after taking 23 supplements, before when I was sick, um, taking that little yellow pill was a no-brainer for me. Um, for me, it wasn't an option not to try this. And I did, I was on it for four months until I had that scan done. This is all on medical paper, so I love talking about it. Um, at four months after taking Protanum, I went in for that scan. There was no tumor growth there. It was all gone. Hi, everybody. My name is Jason Pollock. Uh, my friend Tim here uh, asked me to get on Pro Tandem a little over two weeks ago. Uh, my story is about four years ago, I had a severe head injury. I was playing church basketball. Um, I went up for a rebound, and I got my legs taken under, from under me, and I basically landed on my head so hard that the violent whiplash detached the nerve endings from my skull. I'm actually going to cry right now. <laughs> Sorry. My symptoms were <clears throat> ridiculous. I, I had vertigo for two and a half years straight. Uh, migraines were just a small portion of what I had to deal with. I had uh, migraines so bad that it would drop a buffalo. Um, I had such pulsating um, brain damage that in the left side the uh, the fluid would push my eyeball forward and I would have to actually physically hold my eyeball in my head or it would like pulsate out. Um, I actually had to get glasses because the um, fluid made my eyeball, my, just my left eyeball, the side I hit, um, it made my eyeball not blurry, but it was foggy. It was like looking through a glass of um, water, a glass of diluted uh, water. I'm not wearing glasses as you can see. Uh, for two weeks now I've worn my glasses maybe twice. Uh, for nighttime vision, uh, maybe a movie. Um, these are just the, some of the symptoms I've had. You think about what your brain functions in your body, which is everything. I had a problem with it. My hearing, energy, energy was horrific. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, uh, the energy level I had, I could usually only work for about three to four hours a day. And then I would have to take an hour, two hour, three hour nap. It was like I was a 90 year old man. You know, I, could, I, just, I just couldn't function. Uh, the third day I took Pro Tandem, I worked 12 hours Amazing. that day. I worked 12 hours with a lunch break. And I felt fantastic. I slept well that night. Uh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what did I want to do. I wanted to live. <laughs> you know, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm living. So that's my story. Cool.